Hey everyone, Sarah back again today and I have made it to day four of Follow a Sketch February. More information about that can be found at Scrapbooking Reflections on Facebook. Um, I shared the sketch in the beginning and I did rotate it from its normal position uh, to work for me uh, because my photos were going sideways instead of up and down so I went ahead and just rotated it. Um, I pulled out Simple Stories Acorn Lane Collection from my stash and I am going to make that work for this layout for me even though I am not doing a fall layout. This layout has absolutely nothing to do with fall. Um, I really think her f these photos were taken during fall. I mean September, October-ish. So um, a few years ago. But it'll work. So <laughs> I'm going to cut this pink piece to be the majority of my background and that's pretty much the only pattern paper I'm going to use. I mean I add more to this layout but that's pretty much the only pattern paper. Um, I believe I confuse myself. I, as I am doing this I keep going through my papers because I'm like there's got to be more I'm going to use. Well I find these and these are pieces left over from a layout I did of my other daughter quite a while back. And I decide, hey, I'm going to use that. I love the corrugated look and I love the extra texture added. So I went ahead and added those. I'm going to use them and they're going to stay on the layout. Um, I still have a ton of ephemera left. This fall will be great. I have, like I said, I have a ton of it left. And I didn't, I don't even think I got this until almost Christmas when I got this collection. So I'll probably use some of it next year too. But I'm just finding little bits and pieces to put behind my photos. I'm kind of going with the same uh, layout that it had on the sketch. I am making them a little cattywampus. Um, I'm not going to stick them in exact straight lines or anything like that. And I'm okay with that. Um, I left a little spot open to add some embellishments in between some of the pictures. Because my daughter had a blast with this when we were at the doctor. Um, I cut a little ducky out. Of some of the plaid paper in the collection and added a little bit up above one of the photos um, but I cut a ducky out because she sat there at the doctor's office and they had Legos and she built so many ducks 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 I think 14 ducks she used all the Legos that she could and had some that didn't have like the full bodies and stuff on them because there wasn't enough Legos but she turned all of the Legos into ducks. Um, and that, that's really what this layout is about. Um, I found some ephemera or some of the little fall florals to go ahead and put underneath the side of the duck there. Um, I'm putting some behind uh, up there by the tags on the left hand side. I'm just little bits and pieces to go behind stuff. Um, I wanted a little more contrast from the background and the duck. So I added that navy blue one down there behind the duck. And uh, just kept trying to find things that would hopefully work. I do use that heart on the duck and it stays there. And uh, these are the fall, I don't exactly remember what they're called, but they're fall alphas or, or something like that, the fall colored ones. Um, and I pull those out and I'm going to use the maroon and the yellow to make my title. And I've got part of it on my hand already. And uh, here I am going ahead and adding my duck. And then I'm going to pull out some other, um, some other letters, a smaller portion of the yellow because there's so many different sizes in these books. I love them. But the title of this layout is My Duck Army because that's what she told me she was creating when we were at the doctor's office. She made her duck army. And uh, so, of course, I had to get pictures and I had to scrapbook it because I thought it was hilarious. You know, she's so little. And then she's like, well, I made my duck army. Don't you like my duck army? So... Yes, I documented it because to me that's hilarious and she's goofy and it just worked. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut some 3D foam and put it behind my photos. I'm going to pop them up. I already had some cut on my desk. So I'm going to try to use some of that first and I'm going to go ahead and start sticking things to my photos and uh, then I will also stick the 3D foam behind them. I decided to stick all the stuff to my photos and pop it up as well except for the duck. The duck and those flowers stay on the layout itself, not on the photos. Honestly, I just used bits and pieces of stuff that I found. That little piece of yellow that's punched out and put on the top of that one 
was just a piece that I found in the kit or the, the bag that I had all this in because that's what I do. I keep all of mine in bags. Um, but I did, I had someone ask me to do, um, a video on putting together some of my stash kits and I'm not quite sure how I do that. I make a huge mess when I do it. Um, but I don't know, I might be able to figure out a way to do that. If, uh, you know, if some more people want that, this is not a stash kit. This is just from my stash. And I just kept the whole collection together that I got and I will probably eventually break it up. But that's what I kind of do with everything. Um, anyways, I'm still roughing up edges. Um, I put that underneath the pink one, the pink polka dot paper. I'm adding foam to the duck and I'm going to pop him down. If you notice, a lot of the pictures are cattywampus. They're tilted and stuff. Nothing's really straight. Um, right there, I added some score tape to the back of the corrugated cardstock there. And I still didn't get it straight, <laughs> so I had to pull it up. And I'm going to add some more um, score tape to this one. I do not line them up. I am not caring if they are not in the exact same spot on the bottom and the top. I'm going to add some more 3D foam in the center so everything doesn't fall down in the center and like warp the whole layout. I'm going to rough up the edges with my fingernails and then I'm going to add some glue to all of that and stick my layout now or stick, stick my layout out pretty much. Um, <laughs> I'm going to tuck the tag behind and press all that down. I'm going to rough these up and stick the last couple of leaves. I did move where I stuck those. Not a big deal, but I liked it better. So here I'm moving the title. Um, I decided I wanted it to butt up against that corrugated cardstock. I really like that stuff. I love the texture of it. Um, I actually have more in my stash, so I might just have to add that to, I don't know, maybe to some of my stash kits as well. I have a ton sitting over here on the floor that I need to put together. But I went ahead and moved all that. I'm adding little bits and pieces here and there um, that I think I might use. I honestly think that's pretty much, I think I add one more thing, a little tab um, that's going to go up behind my photo on the bottom right. I'm going to add, yep, right there, the blue tab. And then I use this uh, fine liner and I'm going to just draw some lines around the edge. You can't really see it here. Not very well. I think I used too fine of a pen, but it's the first one I grabbed. So um, <laughs> that's, that's the one I ended up using. Um, and I went ahead and did that. I did the little hash marks here and there um, in a couple spots just to have them on there. And then I grabbed my, um, I think that's, let me see, what is that called? Ornament Gold um, by Brutus Monroe, the um, Chroma Mist. And I went ahead and put that around the layout and that finished it for me. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Uh, it'd be awesome to see y'all post in the Scrapbooking Reflections group if you're playing along. And thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. Bye!